Politician. Hey YouTube, Dark Politician 84 here, and welcome to Q and A number 46. Um, before I begin this episode, I want to apologise for any sniffing and the sound of my voice. Um, I'm currently suffering from hay fever. I hate it. I just hope I'm not going to feel like this tomorrow night at game night or when I see my girlfriend later on this week. <laughs> anyway, let's kick it off. <clears throat> so the first four questions are from Matt and Alison Welch. One, with your time travel movie being a big success, are there any plans for a sequel in the near future? Maybe one where Express Gaming and Gamer Central along with Webers 5 each having a role in the film. Uh, yes, there are. Like, um, I mean, it was teased at the end of the movie that there'd be a sequel, um, you know, implying that uh, the demon and the cyborg will team up to take me down. Um, <coughs> Yeah, um, Express Gaming, uh, Webers 5 and Emma have all expressed interest in uh, being in the next one. Um, I would like the next one to be Halloween themed, but I don't know um, if that'll still happen or whether um, I'll just do one next year to celebrate the 20th anniversary for when I got into the game um, but yeah we've all got ideas of what we want uh, to do in the sequel um, uh, and Express Gaming has asked me if I've started filming yet but I haven't because I've been a bit too busy um, I don't know when I'll make a start on it, or what the exact plot will be, but there will be a sequel either way. 2. Are there any plans on building an advanced Crystal Beast deck now that they're coming to the TCG soon? I feel they're kind of underwhelming, but still are kind of fun to try out. Maybe on Dueling Book or White Joe Pro. Um, no, I've got no plans to make them myself. Maybe I'll do it on Edo Pro, but um, but I've no plans on playing them myself, um, at least in real life. Because um, I have said already that I'm not building or rebuilding any more decks, at least not in real life. Um, I will agree with one thing though, um, there is an underwhelming thing about them, which is that they require advanced dark to stay on the field, and it's like, uh, this, this feels like too much of an unnecessary drawback. Uh, three, would you like the chance to duel any of the bigger Yugi tubers on here, like Cyber Knight? simply unlucky or ones that are no longer on here um i hadn't really thought about it that much but um uh, uh, i wouldn't say no to a uh, dueling against cyber knight or galactic god it's a shame that galactic god um stopped doing it but, um oh well Uh, four. I know Alison and myself both brought this up before, I believe, about you and your girlfriend asking if you two thought about having a prank channel, but have you two thought about creating a channel together and post travelling videos of you, of you both on trips and sightseeing? Um, yeah, it was brought up before, but no, we haven't thought about doing something like that. Um, I, I, I'm not sure it's really necessary. Um, 
I think it's just easier posting everything on one channel. Um, like, although it, this is more of a Yu-Gi-Oh channel and a comedy channel, um, it's easier to post any other videos on here. Um, challenges, pranks. Um, although I have suggested to her that um, she should post any pranks that she pulls on me on her channel. Um, uh, but I think she said the same thing about finding it easier to do it online, which is fair enough. Um, but, um, I just thought it might be nice to do them on hers, um, since she's the one who does the pranking. Mostly. Um, <clears throat> uh, next questions are from Chris Reinhardt. Hey, may I say I love Justice June and loving the content. Thank you very much. I need to have some water. A uh, couple of quick questions. Um, one, have you seen Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's dubbed or subbed, and if so, what are your thoughts on it? I didn't think I'd like it, but I find that I don't hate it. <laughs> it is a throwback to old Yu-Gi-Oh! days when you get excited about tributing out your boss monsters and winning with them. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. Uh, yes, I have seen it. I swear I mentioned a few times that I did see it. Um, I've not watched the dub, but I have watched the sub of the first 40 episodes, plus um, that one where Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl got summoned. Um, it, I didn't like it for what it was, um, but to be honest, I kind of got bored of it after a while. Um, I just, I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered to stay interested in it really. It just didn't feel the same as um, other, the other animes really. Um, but I would agree, it did feel like watching old school Yu-Gi-Oh again. That's something I did like about it, but now it's just something I don't really have the time and patience for. But I like the concept of rush duels, um, which I guess brings me to the next question. Have you thought about, just for fun, dueling someone using the rush duel format? Um, yeah, both per style with four cards, and they have three spell traps and monster zones that can normal summon tribute summons as many times, yeah. Basically, um, all the rules are listed here which I already know about. My wife and I were thinking about having a duel like that just for fun, so I thought I'd ask and see if that's something you and the team would be interested in doing in the future. Um, yes, I would be interested in doing that, um, and so would Webers 5 actually. Um, I don't know about anyone else, um, but um, that's something we'd be interested in doing. Although I don't like the idea of being restricted to only using one legendary card per deck. Um, I think it should be like the limited section of the ban list where you can only play one copy of each limited card. Um, that, that would have been better. Um, otherwise, I feel too restricted to what I can and can't play. That's my only um, complaint. Uh, finally, just a shout out to you, man, for adding the fusion deployments and space gift. Hope they worked well for you in the two duels I saw. Keep up the great content. Hashtag Justice Jew. Thank you very much. Um, next 
three questions are from Webers 5. One, would you like to try Chris's suggestion of a rush duel on duel book? There, dueling book sometime. Additionally, if you do choose to watch Hugo 7, I can recommend the Japanese because A, the series is actually finished, and B, as per every Hugo spin off, the voice dub voices are awful. Um, well, yeah, like I said, I would be willing to try that out sometime. Um, but I did actually make a start on making a generic spellcaster rush tool deck on there, which includes Dark Magician. Um, uh, yeah, sounds good. Uh, two, which anime punishment for losing a duel would you say is the worst? Being sent to the Shadow Realm, being sent to the stars, uh, being sent to the Devil World, or having your soul trapped in a card? Uh, that's a good question. Oh, excuse me. Um, God, I don't know what would be worse, actually. Um, maybe being trapped in the Shadow Realm. Um, I mean, it's near enough the same as having your soul trapped in a card. Um, whereas being sent to the stars and the Neverworld are basically dying. Well, being sent to the Neverworld, I guess, is the same thing as dying. Um, but, um, then again, being sent to the stars is kind of the same thing as being sent to the Shadow Realm. Um, but then again, it's another dimension, as far as I remember. Um, yeah, I'm still going to say being sent to the Shadow Realm for... Oh yeah, that's not really a question. Um, it's just a notification about um, the Odd Eyes and Dark Magician match being delayed. Which is fair enough. I can wait another two weeks. Oh, and the last question is from Chris Reinhardt again. Um... Pardon me. Um, have you any plans to have a top 5, no, top 10 Dark Magician archetype list, or top, insert any number here of cards from your favourite archetype, Dark Magician heroes, etc. Um, I wanted to make sure but I asked before you start recording. Um, well, technically, I kind of did already do a top 10 favourite element of hero list, or at least I'm pretty sure I did, either that or I showed off my collection of top 10 favourite elemental heroes. Um, um, but I'm not quite sure what you mean by um, Dark Magician archetype, like, do you mean cards from the archetype, or do you mean all the different incarnations um, that I did? Um, it, um, I, I haven't thought about it, but um, I suppose I could. Um, it's hard to say which cards within the archetype I like more, um, other than Dark Magician himself. Um, as for an incarnation, like pure legendary hero, Dark Magician hero, legendary hero, Dark Magic Strike, um, I thought about doing, uh, redoing that video, but I'm just not sure. Um, maybe I will. It's quite tempting. Um, and that's it for questions in this episode. Thank you very much for your guys' questions. And if you've got any other questions you want to ask me, post them in the comments down below. And remember, I do these episodes every Tuesday afternoon or evening, UK time. So be sure to get your questions in before then, so, the, so that you don't miss out. <laughs> Thanks again. Stay safe. Hopefully I'll feel more better by then. And catch you guys later. See ya. 
Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel.